Hi, I'm Paul Wells from Plug and Plink. This is a grand piano. Brand new, immaculate, impeccable craftsmanship throughout. Its intricate design is a result of centuries of refinement. Shining metal strings expertly tuned by a seasoned piano tuner lie poised to ring out a spectrum of bright harmonics when hit by hammers lined with crisp virgin felt. But I'm here to reveal a grimy truth about this piano. It's neither in tune, nor can it ever be in tune. Not because of human error in tuning, not because of the heat or humidity, but because of mathematics. Neither this piano, nor indeed any other piano, can ever be in tune. A piano lets you combine notes. Let's keep it simple and only consider pairs of notes. Pairs of notes sound harmonious when there is a simple relationship between their frequencies, which is a fraction made of low numbers. Let's use this key as the starting point. A fraction of two over one is a jump upwards of one octave. Four over one is a jump upwards of two octaves. 1 over 2 is a jump down 1 octave. Notice that fractions with a value of more than 1 are a jump up. Fractions with a value less than 1 are a jump down. But notice something else. 2 octaves is a jump of 1 octave and from there a jump of another octave. That's 2 over 1 times 2 over 1 is 4 over 1. So to combine jumps, we simply multiply the fractions. Let's jump an extra octave. Well, that's simply two over one times two over one times two over one, which equals eight over one. And it sounds like this. We haven't used the number three yet in our fractions. So what does three over one sound like? Well, it sounds like this. If we jump up three over one, then from there jump down an octave, that's three over one times one over two, which equals three over two. It sounds harmonious because the numbers in the fraction three over two are still small. Just for a quick comparison, here are some pairs of notes with high numbers in their fraction. As you would expect, they sound horrible. 87 over 46 sounds like this. 63 over 31 sounds like this. I cannot show you these fractions on the piano because no pair of keys produce these horrible sounds. On a piano, we want the fractions to be made of small numbers and hence the pairs of notes to sound harmonious. That's what we mean by in tune. We want pairs of notes on our piano to be a jump apart made from a fraction with low numbers. The lower the numbers, the more harmonious the sound. So we've used numbers one, two, three, and four so far in our fractions. What about five? Five is still a pretty low number, so it should sound harmonious if we use it. 4 over 1 is 2 octaves, so 5 over 1 must be a bit higher than 2 octaves. Well, it is. As you would expect, it sounds harmonious. Let's bring 5 over 1 down an octave. 5 over 1 times 1 over 2 equals 5 over 2, which sounds like this. Let's bring it down another octave. 5 over 1 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 equals 5 over 4, which sounds like this. You should now be happy that a jump from here to here is a 5 over 4 jump. It sounds like this. It sounds harmonious because the numbers are low. We can combine jumps by repeatedly multiplying fractions. 
from just looking at the keyboard, counting the keys, ignore whether they are black keys or white keys, you can see that five over four means jumping this many keys. Okay, well let's jump twice with five over four and see where we land, which is here. And if we jump the same number of keys another time, we'll get to here. But look, on the keyboard, these three jumps combined are the same as an octave. So what does that look like with the fractions? Well, it's five over four times five over four times five over four. And when you multiply out, that comes to five times five times five, which equals 125 on the top, and four times four times four, which equals 64 on the bottom. That gives us 125 over 64, and must also be an octave. Here, to here, to here, to here is an octave. But 125 over 64? Something is wrong. Shouldn't that really be 128 over 64 to be an octave? Twice 64 is 128, not 125. What's gone wrong? Well, I've been lying to you. 5 over 4 doesn't actually sound like this. It really sounds like this. Can you tell the difference? Of course you can't, and neither can I. If you did tune a piano so that this interval was exactly 5 over 4, so that these two notes sounded their most harmonious, then the rest of the tuning would all get out of step with itself. And this is the big, dark secret. Piano tuners fudge it. Piano tuners just split the octave into 12 even steps, and we accept that it's close enough. All octaves are kept perfect. The fraction two over one is always perfectly tuned, but everything else, is a compromise. We redefine in tune to mean perfect octaves with an even split in between, but it's not really in tune. The mathematics just won't allow a piano to be perfectly in tune so that all pairs of notes are a jump of a fraction with low numbers. So for all of its elegance, refinement and ostensible perfection of grand piano is a compromise. 125 over 64 is close to 128 over 64, but not equal. Mostly this compromise is not an issue, but you can hear it when you know it's there. It's mainly apparent in undertones. Chords played higher up on the keyboard can produce a groaning undertone. Chords in the middle of the keyboard also have this groan, but it's mostly too low to hear. But we shouldn't get upset that no piano can be in tune. Instead, we should be happy that 128 is close enough to 125 that most people cannot tell the difference. These two notes are not quite a 5 over 4 jump, but they are close enough to still sound harmonious. And we can even mix in a 3 over 2 jump, which also isn't quite a 3 over 2 jump, but the whole combination sounds harmonious. I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, then please click the like button. Also, if you'd like to add lights to your own MIDI keyboard like the lights I was using just now, then please visit plugandplink.com.